Hi, here's a new tutorial for manual retopology using 3D code. I improved my arm model a little bit, not very much, but just that we have a high poly model that we can work with for retopo. Now I have this here in ZBrush, do some corrections and then I will export it out as OBJ and then import it into 3D code and doing retopology because 3D code has some nice features for retopology and we will see them soon. Okay, now let's export this guy here out. In ZBrush this is called a tool what I have here or a sub tool and you can export this using the export button here. Select the type OBJ and this OBJ file I will import now in 3D code. So let's start 3D code application in voxel sculpting mode. Choose an empty project and then import object. Then we select the OBJ we exported previously and here we go. This is our arm. Okay, now press apply and then the arm is imported into the scene and we switch to retopo and see the arm model and we have the possibility now to create a low poly model manually in this so-called retopo room. So I will show you now some retopology methods that you can use in 3D code and the first one is the points and faces method. So let's select this here and you can start by adding points onto your high poly model. Just left click and add the points. And when 3D code recognizes that there are four points that it could connect together to a quad, then this little overlay appears, this quad overlay, and you can just hover over this and press the right mouse button and then the quad is generated. And that's one method to build your retopology model, your low poly model, onto your sculpting. It's quite fast. As soon as you got used to it, And I will fasten the video up now because I'm using the same technique now for the whole shoulder or almost the whole shoulder. And then I will switch to a different method which is called the strokes. Okay, here's the next method, the strokes. I selected this here in the tab at geometry. And with this method, you can just paint over your model or draw lines over your model here, as I do it for this biceps part. And then I connect points from the existing low poly model I already uh, generated crossed over these lines like I do here. Just paint this in, crossing the lines. Just add these strokes. It doesn't have to be that accurate, just crossing it, building a kind of grid. And when you're done, 
you just press the return key and the mesh is generated. Here are some errors perhaps due to the strokes weren't closed or something like this but you could fix this easily by selecting the edges there's a select tool you select them and then you could just press delete on your keyboard and they are deleted and then you switch again to the points and faces tool to fill this holes here up with the missing quads again at points and then insert the quads so great here's the next method this tool is called quads it's a bit similar to the points and faces you select an edge and then you select two new points and in my case here i draw one new point and connect the fourth point that in my case here can be found on the left side of my existing model and that makes it really fast to extend an existing low poly model made out of quads. I'm using this technique to fill the upper arm and there's another feature that I want to show this is the brush. You can use this tool to rearrange your vertices just hover here over the vertex with the brush and change their location to make it fit better onto the surface of the high poly model okay i will fasten up the video now again because i will use the same technique the quartz method to fill the whole upper arm. So we can stop here, that's also cool, you can stop at any point and now we are marking the seams. Just choose mark seams, hover over an edge and press the shift key and the seam is highlighted, then left mouse button and you set the seam. Then press UV unwrap and the model is UV unwrapped. After that let's bake the textures, the normals, the ambient occlusion here with the texture bake tool and then we can import the low poly model for per pixel painting into the paint room this means we have a low poly model with normals with ambient occlusion and we can paint onto this model in 3d code let's do this select the paint room and here you have your low poly model with normals applied. By default you would also see the high poly model in this room but I disabled this. You can do this in the view menu but now you only see the low poly model. Okay I would say let's add a layer and choose a metal material something that it looks like an old statue. Perhaps this one yeah, that's selected and when you select it you can see that the curvature smoothing is automatically generated and yeah this looks great this comes out really great let's let's use this to fill the whole layer with this right click and choose fill whole layer and here we go that looks really cool this is our low poly model with all the details that we see because the normal map is generated well that's a cool model so before we stop let's draw some paint onto this model this should look cool switch to the paints select an alpha like this one here 
and perhaps a red paint red yeah choose the red one here it is okay uh, let's see the preview oh this looks really dramatic now size this alpha up let's see yeah that's that's quite nice perhaps a little bit darker this one different paint yeah that's cool but a little bit darker open up the smart material editor and set this red to a darker tone this also now also darken the second one yeah that's cool so that's it for now i hope you see the magic of this 3d code application what can be done in in minutes and i really hope you like this tutorial and you subscribe to my channel here's the link and it would be also amazing if you could support me on my patreon so that i have more time to create tutorials like this thanks for watching guys and see you soon